Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here with my superpower wife, Laura. And I'm here with my powered up husband, Nathan. And we're here for the brand new set of Yowies, Yowies Superpowers. Or animals with superpowers. Obviously. We're not talking superheroes here. <laughs> hey, he might have superpowers. I don't know. Sure. So I believe what we've got inside these Yowies are some kind of amazing animal figures um, Think that, that have superpowers. So, like, incredible. Think an electric things. eel. Sure, that has, that can electrocute things. Or an ant that can lift what, like 20 times their weight. I don't know. Exactly. Incredible animals that can do incredible things. So these these were just, I think, at Big W in Australia. I'm sure there are other retailers that yes. we picked them up. Uh, check them out. Yes. Uh, as per usual, I mean, if you open up the Yowies back in like the day, you know, 20, 25 years ago, they used to be Cadbury chocolate. I do not believe they're Cadbury chocolate anymore. They're they also not buildable figures anymore like they were when we were kids. Which is kind of a shame. Look how beautiful Craig is. <laughs> he's he's had a bad day. All right, let's just have he's a, had a very bad have day. Have a bite and see if it's improved. Yeah. The chocolate is eh. It's Look. not our favourite sort of chocolate. It's not the worst as discount chocolate, but not as good as a lot of other brands out there. So yeah. But the real thing is the wonderful little egg here. I was going to say you're not getting it for the chocolate. You're getting it for the toy. It says squeeze the tummy to open. I think it says on the checklist. Alright. They don't actually include a, a checklist we should mention if you haven't seen Yowie's before. Um, they more give you information about what animal you've got. Which is very nice. Uh, so we have the Chin High Spiny Newt. Oh, it's critically endangered. I'd give that Newt a kiss. Uh, so you can pause there and give it a bit of a closer sort of read if you would like. But it's superpower is spike projecting. Oh my. <laughs> it's got 12 knob-like porous glands. When attacked, the tips of their sharp elongated ribs poke through their large glands injecting painful poisonous secretions in the mouth of a would-be predator. Oh no thank you. It's in multiple languages. That sounds dangerous. And it doesn't say. What is it? Well there's like rarities. What rarities. But is it the tick? Was that one of the... It's a common. Oh, I don't think they used to do that. No, I don't think so. Unless it was like a crystal skull or something like that mm. specifically. Yeah, we haven't opened any in a while. Maybe some of the newer, like more recent sets that we haven't sort of checked out could. Um, the figures are really nice in these though. They're quite sturdy and they have a lot of detail in them, which I mean, the whole idea is to educate about different creatures. Yeah. So it's, you want them to have that detail. It's sad you can't build them, but yeah, I agree. They've got really nice detail and some information to help protect and help we save our animals. It also means that you can't lose pieces though. Yes, well. So you can't be like, oh, where's the tail for my possum? I think I brought a, a bag of yoey parts at like an op shop one day and it was just all legs and tails and heads. <laughs> yeah. The worst. All, all right. right. I'm squeezing. Oh, we have someone different. We've got some sort of bat. It's a cuddle bat. Got his wings spread out. I like that they put them with the wings out rather than... More dynamic. Curled up. Yeah. Do you want to take the bat for me? Let's have a look. Specifically, it is a southern bent winged bat. A bat, not a back. This special bat is a micro bat that uh, roosts in caves near the coastal cliffs in southern Australia, mm. using the <clears throat> same flight path nightly to forage for insects. They use echolocation to navigate using a combination of physical log physiological physiological adaptions and sound to detect obstacles, find their roosts and forage for food. Yeah, so their superpower is ultrasonic <clears throat> calling and hearing, and we don't have a tick, so it's not a common. What was the diamond? That is a rare. Yay! So Squeak. that is pretty lucky. So they don't need no eyes where they're going. <laughs> no. All right, let's bust into nap and see our last animal with a superpower. It is nice to see these come back though after so long. It is. I mean, I know they're different, but we're old. <laughs> Not that old, but it's still nostalgic for us anyway. All right, let's just put the chocolate over there. Yeah, well, we've had a couple of um, very brown animals. Let's get down some here. like some parrots or something. <laughs> Maybe they don't have superpowers to include. Uh, so, uh, oh, it's someone oh. spotty. This is uh, oh. uh, is it a hyena or some sort of spotted dog? I don't know. It could be like an African wild dog. It looks kind of like a hyena though, doesn't it? <clears throat> All right, it is indeed a spotted hyena, superpower, jaw and stomach of steel. Mm. So they can pretty much eat and almost digest almost everything. And they have one of the most powerful bites of any mammal. Hmm. 
So um, don't put your hand near its mouth, I guess. Maybe just don't go near them at all. Least concerned, so there's quite a few running around. And a diamond means it's rare. Another rare. We've been very lucky today. Um, we have continued on our kind of brown animal theme, though. When he Again, makes... they have a, a great lot of detail, though. So. And when you, you think about it, brown is probably a very common colour in nature because they can blend in and camouflage to there. I would say so. Hmm. Well, these are super cute. Does it, I don't remember how many there are in the set, though. That, that's one reason that a checklist would be a nice thing. Maybe you can find one online, though. Or even just a number. Like, this, this is number 13 out of 34. Yeah, something like that would be quite useful. Maybe it's set on the, like, box in the store, but then how I many... How many people stand there and read the whole box? I don't know. I don't recall it, but I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section down below or via one of the links there. Are you collecting these? Have you collected other sets? Have you managed to complete them? But the thing is, did you manage to collect the Yowies back in the day? I did. I did with my mum. Except <laughs> the very, very last, it was Lost Dinosaurs or something. Lost uh, Kingdom? Lost Kingdom's like... C. I don't think we did, but we collected quite a few others. Hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every single Friday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.